Hey everyone and welcome back to your Fred Expert YouTube channel. In this video I'd like to show you how you can quickly match your 3D model with any backplate image and set up the according HDRI image with just a few clicks. For this tutorial I'm using an HDR and backplate image from the new Adobe 3D Asset Store, but there are many other resources like Poly Heaven out there you can download free content. So let's hop over to VRED and let me show you how to set up the scene. So we can start by simply dragging the EXR image onto the viewport background, which prompts me with a message if I want to add or replace the existing environment and we will choose add here. So this has added the new environment to my scene craft. Um, and the first thing I'm gonna do, I disable that shadow plane and use a shadow plane I had in the other environment with some ambient occlusion on the ground already. So you can see the environment is uh, quite sh quite large and due to the fact we use it just for our lighting and reflection, um, I change my environment. So let's see where that is. We can simply um, find our environment node, the one with the star and do a select here. This prompts me to the right environment. And here I can say, I don't want to use the dome. I want to use the sphere. That's uh, totally fine. And now I can scale that sphere a little bit down to a value of 0 0.5, I would say. And this is uh, perfect for my case. So the next thing I'm going to do is I change my render window size to an aspect ratio. I want to render out the image at the end. And now I set up my backplate. Make sure that the scene plates are enabled here in the menu bar and also check if front and back plates are enabled. And then you can go to scene and the scene plate editor and simply create a new back plate. And start adjusting the back plate to your viewport. So I change the size a little bit so it matches my viewport. All right. So the next thing we will do is um, matching our camera perspective to the perspective that is in the backplate. So let's open the camera editor, select the camera, and then we can go into the advanced tab, perspective match, and press the perspective match button. So now in the viewport, you can see um, what's called the vanishing lines. And there is a combo box in here that allows you to disable access you don't want to adjust or don't have to adjust. In my case, for example, the Z axis because um, the verticals are facing straight nearly um, and are parallel to each other. So there is no need to adjust them. By holding shift and left mouse button, you can um, select the tangular boxes at the vanishing lines and move them around. So what I will do is I will place them like this. You see there's also a magnifier here where you can change the scaling value of the magnifier in the module itself. A value of two is uh, totally fine for me. And now I'm searching for these perspective lines in my backplate to match the 3D model. So the those ones go in this direction and for those guys I search something in the image like this and maybe here on the wooden blanks um, it goes like this probably. So the moment the perspective match is active you can see that you can toggle and pan and zoom your model around but you're not really able to destroy this perspective um, anymore. And you can start placing the car where you want to have it and you think um, it looks it looks right. So what is missing in that play back plate you sometimes have it there is a wire cube um, in the back plate that is a size of a meter by a meter that helps you quite a lot to get a sense of size um, in the image itself. 
So in my case, um, I'm assuming that this might be um, the right size and the right position. So it's a little bit more difficult if you don't have um, any wire in here. Okay, what else can be done? So the moment you um, disable the perspective match, the vanishing lines um, are gone. Um, and you can also navigate free around your image. But for now, I leave it. Because the next thing um, we want to do is um, adjusting our HDR environment to um, the perspective the camera is um, facing. Um, I could also, well, let's do that first. So we go to the scene craft and we will hide the car for a second and create a new cube instead. Move it up a little bit and now let's convert the material from a plastic to a chrome. So we can probably see the um, HDR reflecting. And I assume these windows are the same like this. So I have to adjust um, the rotation of the environment just a little bit. So once again, search for the star and select the environment and rotate it on the set axis um, until I think it is matching. So these lines probably go um, this way. So my assumption is that they have taken the HDR environment and positioned the camera um, facing straight to one wall. So I would assume it's a 45 degree here and um, don't think you will see it that obvious in the reflection um, of the car paint at the end. So maybe a little bit more, but I'm not 100% sure. Maybe it's 65 or something like this. Alrighty, now my reflection texture is matching my backplate and I can um, disable the sphere again and enable my car again. And I can now also um, disable my vanishing lights. So if I don't like um, the, pers the, the view or the angle my camera is facing to the car, um, I can do two things. So I can obviously um, select my model and rotate it there. So this is not affecting um, my HDR alignment I have done um, at all. Or I can also use these rotate buttons here. And this is rotating um, the camera around the object. But this also means, because my sphere is, um, or I'm rotating in the environment, that my reflection texture is um, rotated as well, and I have to do the adjustment um, again. So I usually decide first from which angle I want to see the car and then start adjusting um, the reflection texture to it. So I'm good now with that perspective and I can create a new viewpoint to not um, lose it and can disable um, the perspective match as well. Okay, next thing we can do is some image processing here. So um, usually these backplates images are tone mapped and color graded um, already, which makes it a little bit difficult to find the right tone mapping for your 3D object as well. So this is a little bit an eye adjustment here. Um, I think mine does work quite good, maybe a little bit um, less saturation in here. It is also possible if the backplate was not touched yet um, to assign the camera color corrections to the backplate as well. And if I now change the saturation, you can see that the backplate and also the car is affected by that change. But I don't want to have that and set that back to a 90. And I think that's looking not too bad here. Alrighty, next thing um, I'm gonna do is render out that image. So I use my GPU ray tracer.
and I'm basically good to go. So that's it from my side and I hope you found the information helpful. Let me know what else you would like to see on this channel in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to stay tuned for more information on Autodesk V-RED. Bye!